Good morning everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and the morning market preparation video for September 12th, 2017. So today we kick off earnings. We have earnings today from Citibank and JP Morgan to kind of kick off the earnings season. And now you know we've been rallying 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 obviously the 48th new record in the Dow this year and it shows no signs of stopping at least at this point and as we start seeing those earnings it's really gonna fall to those earnings to produce um, results that show that they can support these prices and I suspect they probably will um, <clears throat> uh, market analysts uh, suggest that there's going to be about 11% increase in revenue growth this year for companies and they're expecting the same 11% <clears throat> growth next year. So not only could this trend continue higher, it could continue higher for a very long time if <clears throat> that actually comes to pass. Now that doesn't mean we won't see corrections or pauses or things in between here, but um, this has been a truly amazing year and it looks like it may continue to be uh, just that. Um, JP Morgan, <clears throat> uh, earnings have just come out and JP Morgan uh, beat estimates. Um, looks like they reported earnings of 1.76 a share and they were expected to produce 1.65 <clears throat> per share. I don't <clears throat> know what the revenues came in at, but right now JP Morgan is looking just a tiny bit lower here um, at the open. So that's one of those examples that you just never know what's going to happen around an earnings or earnings season. Let's take a look at... Um, at the SPY. SPY also setting a new record high yesterday at the close. Very light choppy price action, but it just ended up there toward the end of the day, grinding higher to catch that new opening high. Right now, the market <clears throat> is expected to open just slightly lower. Um, nothing major, <clears throat> but at least at this point, but you can see... Um, we're looking just slightly lower here on the SPY for the open, right around in here. The Dow right now um, is actually starting to show a little bit of stress after that earnings report, um, showing now a, a gap down of about 30 points in, in the Dow. But, you know, it's still early. We still have plenty of time. <clears throat> Uh, for that to either get bigger or correct or anything we we don't know for sure but right now um, we're showing just a little tiny bit of stress um, at these uh, this elevation so let's take a look at the queues the queues also set new record closing highs yesterday just barely eked it out but it got her done and that new record high Showing all kinds of strength, these trend con trends continuing. Um, boy, there just really is nothing in this market that looks bearish right now. If we look at IWM, IWM happens to be one of my favorite charts right now because I love this tight consolidation. After such a strong run, this tight consolidation right here would suggest a tremendous strength in the bulls. And the reason I say that is, is because we don't see, after such a big run, we don't see anybody selling it. Nobody wants out. So <clears throat> what I want to wait for, what I want to watch for, is this to pop through to the top side. It could also pop through to the bottom side, breaking the trend. That would be a problem. But um, And pull back to support. But if we wait for this, it may pop through the top side and give us an opportunity to trade the next leg higher in the IWM. Let's keep in mind next <clears throat> um, 
Tomorrow we also have uh, more bank earnings from uh, BAC and um, WFC tomorrow. And there's a few other uh, um, reports in there tomorrow that are in that financial industry, but nothing that, you know, not the newsy type ones that are going to cause us um, a lot of issue. Um, on the economic calendar, 8.30 we have jobless claims. Um, they're expecting that to draw back just a little bit, but there's a big wild card out there. Um, they're not really sure how uh, or if the impacts of um, hurricane um, the hurricane over Puerto Rico has really been counted into this yet. So we'll have to um, be a little bit flexible on this. This has been moving around kind of a difficult target for them to um, to hang a number on just because um, all the effects of these hurricanes. Um, the PPI. PPI is expected to increase by about 4% on the overall, the core today. Um, petroleum status report, that's going to be a big number today. If we're going to see oil continue to respond or rebound, we need to see those supplies continue to diminish. And right now, I think most are expecting that to occur, that we're going to see those supplies continue to diminish as demand seems to be picking up for uh, that great commodity. Um, we also have, you know, some Fed speakers here today. And then down here at the bottom, we've got the Treasury budget report today. Now, uh, that normally does not move the market at all, but uh, just know that it's there. So that's our economic calendar. On our earnings calendar, again, we have Citibank and JP Morgan. JP Morgan has already reported. Let's take a quick peek. Doesn't look like Citibank has reported just yet. Um, and I don't have any notification of that just yet. So we'll just have to keep an eye on, on that. JP Morgan, um, now after the markets reacted a little bit, is, is acting just a tiny little bit better, holding above that price support area. So perhaps the market will settle itself here um, um, and continue to, to show signs of, of bullishness. So let's take a quick look at the VIX. <clears throat> and I show this every day. And the reason I show this is because I do have a concern with the VIX being down here that we're showing a little bit of complacency and we could see something spike this up. And usually those spikes occur pretty quickly and you know perhaps it's just going to be one of these big banks or uh, earnings that really kick off into full swing next week um something that kind of shocks the market i don't know what it would be but you know we can stay down here for a very long time and we're proving that right now so um we're a little bit complacent in the market that does make me nervous and and all that once uh, that's not making me not trade the market i want to stay along with the market i want to stay along with this trend but what it does do is it, it continues to remind me that i need to have a plan um, if the market shifts to take profits and so one of the things that i do almost automatically is um, i consider friday's paydays and so as I hit this point in the week, uh, being Thursday, I'm always thinking about taking profits, putting money in the bank. And that sometimes means just taking off partial positions. Uh, sometimes it means taking off the entire position. See, I can always buy it back and commissions are cheap in my opinion. So um, I will continue that process because my job as a full-time trader is to profit continuously consistently. And so I am always looking to, uh, to take profits as the market shows strength. And I will do that, um, as we head into this weekend as well. So I'll be looking to peel some of those profits off, um, as we continue to move up. I can always buy back on Monday if I need to. Um, so that's kind of my focus for today. Now, 
um, I will continue looking for long trades in this market, but I want to caution everyone not to chase. When we're up this far, it's easy to get into that, that mode of feeling like we're missing out. If you're not in this, you're, you get that sense, I'm missing out, I've got to hurry up and buy something. And that's a mistake I used to make a, a lot when I was younger. And um, the last thing you want to do is chase. Look for stocks, look for trades that are reacting to price support areas. Something similar to this. Nice trend, nice price support. We see buyers stepping in here. And the reason we want to look for trades like this because when they react to this price support we have a very clear place of where our plan can be set we can have stop losses very close and if we're wrong we don't lose much money on the trade so i'm always looking for those close area supports um, where I can enter those trades and follow the trend and just stay with the trend as long as the trend continues. And, you know, and a great example of that is um, I called this trade SQ right here. And you can see how SQ has just continued to power higher. Um, but it was a low risk entry into that trade. So something to think about when you're planning your positions. So often I see traders chase and they're trying to buy it up here. Um, when they, and they really don't realize they're actually buying it at the place where it's really likely the probabilities are higher at this point that it will pull back. So, um, to make sure you're not chasing into trades. Okay, everyone. I want to thank everyone um, for uh, listening. If there's anything here that you find useful, please do me a favor and click on <clears throat> that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Also, feel free to um, drop a comment, um, click those thumbs up buttons. I really do appreciate that as well. Um, also, uh, you know, I do this every day and uh, I share it for everyone. This is, this isn't so much for you as it is for me. Um, <clears throat> I do this as part of my preparation every day and I just happen to share it. So if you, um, find this useful, please feel free to share it with, um, your friends as well. Um, it's free to everyone. And I want everyone to take advantage of it that finds it useful. All right, everyone, have a great day. I wish you all great profits, and I will talk to you all soon.